Hey guys, so today I am going to be fragging up the largest coral that I've ever grown. Today I am going to be fragging up this giant Montipora. So just to give you a bit of a feel for just how big this is. That there is a 12 inch ruler and it is just about the full length. And if we look at it from the side... I would say that is about six inches, half a foot long, just about anyway. It's not that I don't like this coral, this coral's been with me since my first tank. So if you remember, this was the big plate in Monty in the middle. However, it just grows so fast. So this was actually um, two or three little separate frags that I'd put down here on the sand. Um, but now it's starting to invade some of the other corals and it's also growing up onto the glass as well and you know I, I really just don't want that um, <clears throat> I've also got a few pieces here that are mounted in the tank in quite careful positions so that they won't invade too much on other corals and that they are a little bit sheltered so shouldn't grow too fast so what I want to achieve is I want to get this down to size a little bit so that I, I considered removing it completely but I think it will leave the sand bed a little bit too bare. So for today I just want to take off some of the edges. Um, this will be a little bit of a shame because I do really like the way it's kind of curling up on the ends almost like scrolling. Um, and it is actually growing polyps on the other side as well so it's almost like it's growing a wall which is really really cool. but. You know, unfortunately, um, I, I think it's going to have to go. Anyway, this coral should all come out in one piece. I did have a little bit of a check the other day, um, just lifted it slightly. So the aim is let's uh, get it out onto the bench and start chopping. First of all, I need to get my work area ready. So I've got some frag plugs here, so a towel, um, some kitchen roll and my fragging kit. Okay, so I am going to take some water out of the tank. Um, this will be to soak the frag plugs in. So, little tip here, if, you, um, if you're using ceramic plugs like me, which are pretty common, you really want to soak these in water first, otherwise when you put the glue on them, um, they are going to bubble. Ah, glue. How did I forget the glue? Probably one of the most important things. Okay, so here goes, got a big tub ready. So, this is... The moment of truth. See if we can get this coral out. Whoa. That's big. Okay guys, that is a lot bigger than I thought. That's what she said! <laughs> Just checking we've not got any snails with us. Cool, let's take that over to the bench. Okay, this guy is an absolute monster. So... Look at the size of that. So, anyway, I should start now quickly before this... Uh, this starts to dry out too much. Okay, so if you remember this bit over here is the bit that was crawling up onto the um, onto the zoas, so I need to take this bit down a little bit. I don't really think there's any point in me talking you through every single cut I make, so at this point I'm just going to put on some music and you can watch along. If you're not interested in this bit then just skip ahead um, to the next marker and enjoy.
Okay, so let me just put that up there one moment. Oh my god, it still looks like I haven't fragged it. Hmm. At this point, I still decided I needed to take a little bit more off, so I just snapped it off with my fingers. Not exactly fragging best practice, but hey, it works. Okay, so here we've got all the pieces of coral, and I am going to need a lot more frag plugs than I first thought, I think. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to make sense to try and save all of these, but... Okay, let's see how we go. Okay, so let's get going. I've got a bit more kitchen roll so that I can wipe the glue as I squeeze it out. And I've got lots and lots of frag plugs. And I've also got some uh, tank water here to put these things in as we are done. So we always want to dry these off a little bit. I think because I'm doing so many, I think I'm going to get some plugs pre-lined up and pre-glued just to try and make this a little bit more efficient. So by drying these off a little bit, it should hopefully mean um, the glue sticks a little bit better. Always wipe your nose. Several bad puns later. After lots of gluing and lots of sticking, I eventually had a bunch of frags ready to put back in the tank. A few moments later. So there we have it guys, that is a lot of frags. Um, I counted them all up, I think there's about 20. It's certainly the biggest fragging session I have ever done. Um, definitely on hard corals. Yeah, I have already made some arrangements um, for where these are going, but you know, there's, there's plenty here. I think if somebody local wanted one, then um, yeah, I'm sure I could sort it out. After this, I will be adding some carbon into the reactor just to make sure I'm soaking up any toxins that might be leaking out because, you know, a lot of these corals and these new frags will be sliming up quite bad. Um, so, I, you know, I want to make sure that doesn't affect anything else in the tank and foul water. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I hope you've really enjoyed, you know, following along as I fragged, um, you know, the biggest coral I've ever fragged, definitely the biggest hard coral. I mean, I've fragged quite a few zoas before, but uh, yeah, I think probably this is the most frags, certainly hard coral I've ever made out of one um, fragging session. So yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please, you know, leave a like, really helps me out with the channel, um, lets me know that you guys want more content like this. Until next time on Indoor Reef. Keep it stable, keep it fun, and keep reefing.